Hello, hello guys. I'm feeling really, really frustrated today. I, I just don't know what to do. What are we going to do about this? Our black men. It is horrible. And I have two sons and one is 46 and one is 43. And I worry about them. And I can understand the plight of the black man, my brothers. I watch them go through. My oldest brother, I watched him go through what my father did to him. And then I listened to my father's story of what his father did him, beatings he got. And the police brutality back then. And then Grandpa Irie talks about the beatings he got. So it just one generation to another. The beatings. What are we going to do? Do our black men have to walk around with a pass from Massa to say he can be on the street? And the police won't kill them? What? Well, something has got to change. I mean, we... Try not to cry. I already had that. I mean, because that makes my blood pressure go up. But what do we have to do to make this go away, to stop? I mean, we got a lot of problems in our community on the black on black crime. It's just crime. White. Everybody is going crazy. But we expect people in authority to do the right thing. These white people. Y'all know the story. He was already handcuffed, laying on his belly. Why do you have to have your knee in him, on his neck? And even the man, I can't think of his name, a couple of years ago, he's laying on his belly on the concrete in front of a store. A 400-pound man almost. He can't even get up off the ground unless you help him. So why do you have to forcefully have your a chokehold on him? Oh, my God. These people treat a dog better than they treat a black person. Because they still think we are animals. You know, you get so angry and, and you want to do something evil. You want to cast a spell. You want to just do something to make it right. Play karma. Where is God? Where is God? Where is the Orishas? Where is whoever supposed to fix this shit? Where are they? Do you, I know you know during the middle passage, the people on the, our brothers and sisters on the ship, I know they called on Oya, every uh, Yimaya, they called on everybody they could think of. Nobody came. Nobody. God, so... There's nobody coming <laughs> to fix this. We don't need to sing uh, Amazing Grace, Kumbaya. You know, and you could, I mean, sometimes I think about the Black Panther Party. They dismantled them. and I could see why they were so militant. And we don't, we don't even have an army of people. In our community, you have the NAACP and uh, the leagues and things, but they're not doing anything. I mean, they don't do anything until somebody dies and we want to sue everybody. Let's fix it before this. But you know what? This ain't going to fix till the white folks that's mad about it. They're going to have to fix this shit. We can't do nothing. The same thing happened with slavery. Slavery, slavery was not abolished until the white abolitionists got involved. Jim Brown. They don't talk about Jim Brown. Jim Brown was a revolution. He died with his whole white family for the cause of the black person. So it, this ain't going to change till a militant white person get involved. So, you white people, y'all gonna help save us. I say nobody else gonna do it. I, I mean, I'm not 
I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not divine, denying God. Oh, God, I'm, I still believe in higher power. I still believe in fate and karma and all of that. And that's my word. I'm talking about believe, and I try to go on knowing. But all of that stuff is still a belief. Things I know, I know, but but I know this shit got to stop. I do know that. I don't know. I don't know what we have to do. Uh, start dying in the street and throwing tires on our body and burning ourselves to death. But you know, a black man, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't, we ain't gonna do no Harry Curry, no suicide, none of that. Oh, but somebody, please come in my lifetime. Please help with this cause. I never seen anything I like it. All we have the cameras show everything. Trayvon Martin, it just keep on going, just keep going. And this man is standing there with his knee on the man's neck, and then he got his hands in his pocket fiddling with something. It's like, yeah, you know how you used to torture little animals or a butterfly, a cockroach. You done corner him, and you ain't about to let him go. But th this man treated him just like an animal. Oh, man. Y'all tell me what we going to do. Oh, God. Okay. Bye.